Hey, what's up everyone? This is Quaymon and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we will be seeing who we are fighting against. We are in the top 10 region right now. It's Reunion and this Chinese guild. Okay, I'm not sure what's the name called. Is it Fate? Might be wrong. <laughs> so Reunion at rank 5. They won all their matches so far. And the Chinese guild, not too far behind. Rank 11, 300 as well. Alright, we'll take a look at the defenses from Reunion side first. The Harmonia, Regals, and Jubels. Tower 11, LD Tower. Ooh, very interesting. So, assuming Tower 11 is LD's this one as well. Alright, so on to the Chinese Guild, Kakano, Vigor, and Trianus. A mixture, really. And then we are seeing the Louis, Skogol, Abelio, slash Jean. Mm-hmm. Tower 10. There's a Chow on defense. Okay. <laughs> we'll be using our first sword of the day up against the Louis, Molong, and Karnal. And I just want to bully this team, bring in our Gianna, the triple oracles basically. However, Molong and Karnal not on will, but we're just gonna go for the strip. And we got this additional turn, which is pretty nice. So we'll be able to turn cycle a little bit. No despair stun, but yeah, we'll just detonate the bomb right now. And we'll just place it onto the carnal. Just want to make sure that unit is dead. Don't really need to use any skills just yet. Louis will be using the third skill. Alright. I do not want to use the predicted future because my Gianna has the critical error up. So we can get another round of stuns. Unfortunately, we missed onto the carnal. And also missing a bomb right there. That's not too good. Okay, we landed it. Come on. Can we strip stun? Oh, we got it onto the car now. <laughs> now we can just keep placing bombs. Okay, this is looking real good. Yeah, this team definitely win. Everything will die. Yeah, Kano will drop to the dots already. And we also got this perfect stun. I upgraded my Tiana runes a little bit, so it's a lot more faster than previous. I'm pretty sure we won't get outsped by this kind of Sylvia Iris anymore. There we go, winds of changes into time to loot. We missed the armor break onto the Sylvia though. Can we push back? Oh my god, this Sylvia resistance. Thankfully no stun. Perfect, double kill. And now we are just left with the Sylvia alone. Sylvia alone doesn't really do much damage, as you can see here. Just give you all the additional turns as you want. Doesn't really matter since your whole team already died. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but if let's say Iris was still in play, I'm pretty sure we'll just keep on getting stunned up. Very annoying unit together with the Iris. Most likely, we will need to take down a lot of all this Harmonia, Jubel, and Regal defenses coming out from Union side. And we'll be sticking with our Bomber team. Okay, just normal attack first. Okay, thankfully not much damage. Healing music. Okay, now we have to wait for one turn. Hopefully the Harmonia later doesn't get any additional turns. If not, it might screw our turn cycle a little bit. Okay, now we can place bomb. Oh, resistance onto the Regal. But double bombs onto the Harmonia. Harmonia doesn't have any more clans. My friend might actually die though. Oh my god, one shot. <laughs> okay, can we kill the Regal? Oh, one bomb, enough. That's great. Everything will die. We have to hit this one again, and we'll be switching up our offense a little bit. We'll go with our Covenant, Kona, and Halfas. So I think here, we just snipe off the Harmonia and pray to god that they don't armor break my Covenant. <laughs> okay, let's go. 57k, Harmonia is deleted from the field. I don't really like that attack onto Covenant. We have to cleanse this slow debuff away. Okay, come on. Armor break onto my Halfas. That's nice. I needed that to happen. So now all the aggression will be onto my Halfas. And my Covenant should be free to do whatever he wants. Yeah, invincibility popped. So right now we'll be able to lifesteal as well. The Regal down to the last hit already. Just boost up. Normal attack will do. Okay, Taunting Strike, this won't do anything. Don't really want to heal up or using the cleanse. Just normal attack would do. 
Now we boost up our Covenant and into the Headshot. Yeah, 67k. We have to go into this one, the Tianlang, Zeratu, and Molly. Don't really like to deal with this kind of lineup, but with the Bulwark, Molong, and Amelia, it should be pretty okay. Okay, Zeratu goes for the hit onto my Molong. That's not too good. He gets the additional turn. What the fuck? Hey, stop moving. Are you serious? <laughs> my Molong is dead? Oh my god, even if we cleanse, can we triple stun? Fuck, man. Wow, the Zeratu. The bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should have made my Amila moving first, but you know, I play greedy. Thinking that Tianlong won't get the stun. Then we get extra stacks for the Bulwark next turn. God damn it. <sighs> Yeah, that's no way to win. We do not have any destroy. The Molly is just gonna heal up every single time. Uh, procs off on the additional turn stun. Next up, we'll be heading into this one. The Nana, Purna, and Nasha. I feel like we can double water Diaz, this guy. However, the Nana not on will. So I'm pretty interested to see what is the build on it. Because usually it's on like a Violin or Despair will. Mm, didn't get any stuns as well, so we'll just go for the normal attack, 24k damage. My Dia should be able to tank up all the damage done from the Perna and the Nasha as well. Oh, it's on Revenge, okay. Understandable. Okay, first life of the Nana is down. Okay, come on, come on, can we just kill off that unit? Before they proc and kill off my Dias. Okay, looking good. We go for the heal. And we'll work on to the Nasha right now. Let's go for the armor break. Good, we landed it. Diaz, pretty low on health. But yet again, even if 2v1 against the Perna, double water, we should definitely win. Even if our Diaz dies. <laughs> so yeah, 34k on an armor broken hit. Looking good. Check and destroy, landed everything, BAM! We'll go into Punap's Narsha defense once again and I want to bring in the Jean, Leo and Annabelle quite some time since we actually used this lineup and it should be pretty good against the Narsha especially because we'll be reducing the damage done from her However, I don't really like that random armor break We landed two provokes uh, Of course, Perna was on wheel Now we go for the Water Garden Angel and who do we actually focus on? I feel like we go on to the Nana. A pretty big damage. Oh, but everything healed up again. Now I'm in a pickle. I feel like we should use the Girl's Prayer. Oh, nice sleep. Can we sleep the Nasha? <laughs> okay, looking good. We got our skills again. But I don't really want to wake up the Nana. Yeah, we'll just dismount the Nasha right here. Continue with the provokes. Good stun. Now we lay out the Water Garden Angel once again. First life of the Nasha is down already. And might as well fully focus onto her. Now the problem here is that I'm afraid the Nana has the AoE armor break. Oh, that's a very good sleep. <laughs> oh my god, actually lands all the armor breaks. We have to kill off the Nasha right here. Oh no. Okay, we can heal up. Jesus, the damage. Yo, stop rocking. Torrin. Okay, Nasha is deleted. So we got the controls off as well. Just lay out the water garden angel always. And I feel like this time, even if we failed to land the armor break onto the Nana, we are just gonna go for it. Because I don't really want like a random armor break into Perna proccing like two or three times onto my Leo. Possibly Leo might die. And getting one stack again is gonna be very annoying to deal with. Yeah, there we go. Left the Perna alone. And this should be able to kill soon. Yep. First life down. Just make sure that we got the controls. But resistance... Yeah, there's no way Perna wins us from here. Just gonna waste a little bit of our time. <laughs> yeah, don't even bother healing up. Because Leo yet again is gonna have 
a very hard time critting against the Perna. Nice proc. This should kill. Honestly, we don't really see much of Chao on defense, so I'm pretty interested to go into this one. And I feel like, once again, we are just gonna use Dominic's Destroy to work on to the Nigong. And once Nigong goes down, pretty much we can just press the auto button because Chao, at most, he probably can kill off my Harmonia, but at the end of the day, he needs to deal with a Reviver and also double win, which isn't good for the Chao. Oh my god, stop rocking! <laughs> oh, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, we are just gonna use the unwanted harmony onto the Nigon, just try to bring him as slow as possible. I don't really like the two turns armor break onto my Taranis, so we can't really go for the nuke. And yet again, we don't really have armor breaks in our lineup, so it all depends on Dominic and whether my harmonia can sustain as long as possible. Ah, we didn't get the crit though. But slowly but surely, this Nigong will go down. So it doesn't have the revive. Come on. Trick of win. Okay, now we can just cleanse the armor break. And might as well just normal attack here. Branding. Didn't get it. But my Taranis should be able to finish up the Nigong here. So we are pretty much left with the Chao and we are just gonna revive out our Harmonia. Oh, actually one shots the Harmonia with defense buff, that's not good. But double win against a Chao, this should be able to do it. Big clap 18k damage. We are down to our final sword and we'll be going in with another set of our Bomber team. Let's just do the Fairy's Blessing first and we'll hold on to our skills for one turn. Mainly just waiting the harmonia using the healing music second skill. There we go. Now we just need to hold on. And hopefully we land our bombs later. Oh, getting so many additional turns. My friend down to the last hit already. That's not good. And maybe my speed tuning with Sien a little bit off. We missed the bomb onto the harmonia. If she gets one prop, it's over. Because the heal will be coming. Jesus, I knew this would happen. <laughs> ah, a little bit unlucky. God damn it. Yeah, there's no way a Malaka wins. The siege battle has finally ended. We got 297 crystals followed by 209 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So we got first place followed by reunion at second. And the Chinese guild called Fate at third. We'll open up the rubbish box as well. There's one more shiny left. Can we get it though? We'll try the one on the bottom right. Damn it, not the shiny box. <laughs> ah, all trash. Wasting our time clicking all the self button. Yeah, just four blue runes, some manas, and some stones. So that's about it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Thank you very much for all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe. Peace out.